Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Book Corner. That's right guys, we are getting ready to do another comic book review and that one has to do with The Walking Dead issue number 97, Something to Fear Part 1. Yes guys, this is the story arc that reaches issue 100 in The Walking Dead series. I am so excited for this issue, for this story arc for issue 100 it's been a long time in the making but i have a feeling this is going to be one intense uh story arc um obviously our story here is done by robert kirkman it's uh, drawn by charlie adler and the gray tones are done by cliff rathburn um this particular story is a tease for this story arc um, but it obviously it has to start somewhere and it just leaves you wanting more. You wanting, you want to go to part two and you want to go to part three, which would be issue 100 and, or, you know what I'm saying? And it just, it just, and you have this mystery guy on the cover. Um, everyone's awaiting if this is Daryl or not, um, or if it's Daryl's brother or who this guy Negan is. There's just so much up in the air with this story arc and I am super duper excited I mean you guys who watch my channel um, that have been watching me for a while you guys know that my f most favorite comic is The Walking Dead and I'm so passionate about it um, but this story was a pretty good story it starts things up and it ends with a nice little cliffhanger at the end of it um, the cover's great. It's got Chainsaw Guy on there, you know, blood on it. Uh, it's just, it, it, I think it just goes to this whole mystery character, Negan Guy. I think that's who you're going to find out who it is. Um, so, with that being said, we're, we're going to go to the review and the walkthrough right now. Um, great story. Um, in the last issue, we deal with... Um, Rick and the Hilltop members, they made a deal um, with each other and Rick would offer protection for the Hilltop um, for basically half of their supplies or maybe even a little less just for their particular group. Um, so that was the plan that they came up with. So basically what they're going to do is they're going to take out Negan and his characters or his groups or whatever it is. And that's the deal with they, with they, what they came up with. And Rick is very optimistic about building mankind if they team up with the Hilltop people because there's a lot of them and they can get humanity back together. And he feels for the first time in a long time that there is a lot of optimism here. Um, in the very first page here we can see that I forgot our priest's name I haven't seen him in so long I actually forgot his name but they're having like a little mass and um, he's having a um, little group together with you know getting Rick and the group back together safely so there he's saying a prayer for them and the whole group is there um, in the next in the next page um, you know, Maggie was responsible for Carl, and she's talking to Holly and Abraham about how, you know, I was responsible for him, and um, I let him go, and I, I should be more careful. And Abraham's like, well, don't worry, Maggie, because um, basically, you know, it's nothing to worry about. Carl can probably handle himself more than any of us can handle each other, so... And it kind of didn't make Maggie feel too good, but she's like, thanks, Abraham. And um, Abraham was concerned about Maggie because Maggie was a little bit under the weather about her stomach. And she was just like, ah, it's nothing. It's, it's nothing at all. Um, so in a couple, in another page into the issue, we see that Abraham and Eugene are talking. And Abraham is just 
nonstop. He didn't go to church. I'm sorry, Eugene is nonstop. He didn't go to church. He didn't do anything. Um, he's busy working on this task for Rick of coming up with their own ammunition. And this was way back a few issues ago that was discussed between Eugene and um, and Rick about coming up with their own ammunition because they are starting to run out of bullets for their guns and things like that. Um, so in this whole thing, Abraham asks how Rosita is, and um, you know Eugene is like, well, she's a she's happier now that she's with me, and and Abraham's kind of like, what? And they kind of have a little animosity towards each other because of the fact being that you know Rosita was his ex, and Rosita is staying with um, Eugene, and you know it, it's kind of a big deal, you know, and. Um, Abraham just goes, well, you know what, I'll be leaving now, and he's kind of a wise ass, and he says, you know, say hello to, hello to Holly for me, and uh, walks away, and then you see, you know, you see Rosita um, basically saying, you know, why'd you tell him that, because we're not together, and he goes, well, not officially, and she gets this pissed off look at her face, and he just says, fine, uh, you know, I'm just trying to mess with the guy. Um, later on, again, you know, we see Abraham going out to um, um, to Heath, saying, you know, what's going on? You know, is everything okay? And there's nothing much going outside the community that they're at right now. They're just basically just killing some uh, some roamers. Um, as the issue continues, we see that Rick and the group are just basically driving back in the van, and what's going on is they're taking a nice ride, and you know, Andrew is feeling happy. And um, Michonne is, you know, kind of miserable. Um, but the next thing we see is we see a group of motorcyclists here. And they're telling Rick and the group to pull over now. Um, and that's their final warning. And so he pulls over. And right away, these are Negan's characters. These are his, like, little cronies. And they're threatening Rick to put down his gun and, you know, or suffer the co consequences, which is actually death. And, um... You know, these guys are like talking as a third person, like we all speak for Negan and blah, 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 blah. And, um, you know, Rick was saying, oh, yeah, we'll offer you the same protection, you know, trying to create this distraction. And uh, the next thing we see is Andrea, you know, Rick gives the word to Andrea, sharpshooter that she is, boom, just shoots the guy right in the mouth. It's like half his face goes up. He's like, and he's, you know, pushing out. Out comes Michonne, points this person right in the eyeball, so he dies. Next thing we see is she comes, comes around and she slices off another guy's head. I mean, they're they're eating through these guys like butter, you know? I mean, it's awesome. Guy freaking his head's flying off here over here. Great, great action scene. This one dude on the bike is just sitting there going, um, Negan's not going to like this. And so, and Rick just says, well, ask if I give a shit. And, you know, he's saying, he's offering, again, he's offering this protection to this guy. He goes, go back to your leader. Tell him that we're offering the same protection. And uh, he goes, report back to your boss. So he takes off this guy, and they drive off. And a nice little scene here is, um, you see, is that, you know, Carl is starting to remember more and more each day. He goes into a little brief description of what he's remembered about certain guys that he's seen in the past. And Rick and Rick is kind of like, holy crap, he remembers a lot, you know. But as the van drives off, we slowly see the zombies were attracted to the gunshots <coughs> right here. And you see that you see their footsteps and then there's a couple more, a couple more. Nice paneling here, by the way. Um, just seeing how they overtake the bodies, you know, great, great stuff. And then what's nice is you go from one zombie page to the next page, and you see this one zombie here that's just totally, like, rotted to hell, and it's kind of like the evolution of zombies here. This one looks like it's been around a while. It's all gray. It's got no skin. Um, and Abraham's like, you know, Heath goes, you know, I've never seen one this long before or around this long. It's kind of, this one's weird, you know. And Abraham just goes, I don't give a fuck. Just kill the bastards, you know. It's so funny. Um, next thing we see is that you see Rick and the group. They're coming back home. And we see that they got all the supplies here. And, uh, you know, asking questions. Oh, how'd you get this? And he goes, oh, never mind that. 
We're going to have a meeting tomorrow. We're going to discuss everything that what goes on. And Glenn um, comes home, and Maggie's so happy to see her. I mean, she's just enthused. And Glenn's like, oh, I missed you. And she whispers right here, these words right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. What's that say? I'm pregnant. That's right. So Maggie now is pregnant. And he was surprised because they didn't think they could have kids, but she winds up being, uh, having, is going to have a child. Congratulations, Miss Maggie. Um, as the issue goes along, we see that Rick is in the church having a long discussion about his optimism about building mankind, teaming up with the hilltop and everybody else, and he feels as long as the plan goes correctly, <coughs> everything should work out smoothly. Um, and he he offers anybody, you know, raise your hand if you're against this plan. No one's against it. And he's like, oh, that's great. So next we see that Rick and Andrea get together, and they're having a discussion. And basically Rick is feeling very optimistic, and for the first time, you know, he's, he, I think he's really moving on, and uh, he's telling Andrea that, you know, he's, he's interested, you know, if she is, you know, because she was, she was just like, you kissed me that day, and, you know, he's just like, well, he's just like, I feel very optimistic, and, um, you know, and she's like, your reasoning originally was bullshit, saying that, I basically, you know, everyone I'm with, I'm cursed and blah, blah, blah. And she was just giving this explanation. And, um, um, but everyone was going to die eventually, even before the undead, you know. So it makes sense that why shouldn't they be together now? So it looks like a relationship now is truly starting to blossom between Andrea and Rick. And she was very happy um, at the end of this particular issue. Now coming to the last few pages of um, issue 97 here we have Abraham and we have Eugene working together um, because he promised Eugene that they would go out on this little quest to find the ammunition that is needed to make bullets and stuff like that all the materials and stuff and um, you know there again there's still this animosity against him because it feels like Abraham has <coughs> evolved as a person since he's joined with Rick and Eugene really hasn't done anything. He stayed in the background. That's why he's so persistent on getting these um, materials from the ammunition because he really wants to feel part of the group. And um, he's just saying that where we need to go is four miles down the road. That's what Eugene was saying. And we'll be back before lunch. Well, literally, we know in the very last page of this book, he goes, huh. Eugene goes, besides, I've got a big, strong guy like you for protecting me. What could happen? And here is the nice little cliffhanger at the end where you see it looks like obviously Negan's voice seeing um, Eugene and Abraham there hanging out and going shh and that's what we see um, so it looks like that they're going to be the first, first victims of Negan's order here um, so it just left you wanting to read part two of Something to Fear because this was just a tease. This is just a setup. Um, but, man, it's going to build, and then I think it's just going to explode. Um, but this was issue 97. Um, very, very good issue. I give it five out of five. Not much action in it, but it's a great plot scene, and the little action that was in it was good. It was well done. It wasn't over over overdone or anything like that it was just nice to see it um this is a good story arc to read guys you, you know if you're behind in the series or whatnot you know catch up on the trades um but this is a good one go out and buy issue 100 when it comes out because it'll probably be a collector's issue um there's going to be multiple variants from what i hear from issue number 100 um, so it's a good time to read The Walking Dead, guys. Definitely a 5 out of 5. So that's all I have for you today. I apologize again if the review was late. Um, I got a lot going on, like I said, in my whole video. Um, so I will do as much as I can when I have any spare time possible. All right, guys. So this is Comic Book Corner. Maybe I should just say this is Spider Slayer signing off. And thank you for watching Comic Book Corner. And if you have not 
watched Comic Book Corner Classic yet, go ahead and try that out as well. So thanks, guys. Take care, and thanks for watching. Bye.